For a long time, I have been thinking about meaning and what drives people to do what they do. Today, I'm thinking about Sufism, a branch of Islam, and what it really means to be a Sufi. To learn more about this, I'm visiting and interviewing Ruqayya. Yeah, sure. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about you? I'm 24 years old. I'm a student here in Leuven. Um, I'm German, so my parents live in Germany also. My family lives there. I'm studying anthropology and um, Arabic studies here at the KU Leuven. And I did before uh, modern languages in Brussels. Um, I think, yeah, I, I had a lot of experience also in in, um, um, in other countries. I traveled a bit in Arab countries, of course, because I wanted to learn the language, not only, yeah, for, of course, for university and also for religions, religious reasons. I think Arabic is quite important and it's important to know and to understand it. And I'm just interested also in the culture. But I also went to Russia and... Um, Yes, <laughs> um, Turkey also, and, uh, yeah, and within Europe. And what does Sufism mean to you? Well, for me, I was grew, I grew up as a Sufi, like in a Sufi Tarifa, Tarifa means um, community, let's say. Um, it actually means the way, because it's always a way going, like a, a spiritual way, so it's always a spiritual path and process, right, through, throughout life. I was born in Sweden, so my parents converted both to Islam around 20 years ago, no, <laughs> almost 30 years ago. <laughs> Sufism for me means the deeper meaning of life and not only running after what's here, but also understanding what our soul is longing for. And what are some of the activities that you do on a daily basis? I go of course to university. Um, I follow the courses as much as I can. And I think before I was a bad student and I <laughs> didn't go that much to university. I was doing lots of my own you know, like activities and studying on my own, but now I try to go to the courses because I think it's very interesting. And I, I think with time I, like I valued, I started to value much more the university and teaching and also the work of the teachers. And, I have to work as well a lot, so I do all kind of jobs I can find. Like uh, right now, I've done a translation. Um, I do babysitting. I do all kind of things. I think you can give meaning to all things you do in life, and well, I, I try to do that. I spend a lot of time with good friends as well. Um, I think it's important in life also to reflect on oneself again, and talk about things, and. Um, yeah, I think people, uh, other people, also within my Sufi community, but also outside, they show me who I am because I react on different things in a different way. Um, so that's what I do. I also play the piano and um, I try to do some sports. Uh, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu here in Leuven because I have a, a group, group only for women and my brothers also do it, and so I think it's a nice thing. In Islam we have five prayers a day, uh, so I try to keep them. In winter sometimes it's difficult because it goes with the sun and so they follow one another very quickly and sometimes I have to work or sometimes I have to go to university or some other things. So it's not always easy to keep it and also in Arab countries or in Muslim in the Muslim world you always hear the azan. Do you sometimes find it difficult living in Durban and following your religious duties? Mm, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that, for example, in winter the prayers are one after the other, so I have lessons, I have to work, I have to go there and here, and I'm very distracted then. No, because I, uh, here in Leuven, I can always go to the mosque, student mosque in the high school strat. Um, I can always come back home quickly to pray, I often do it when I'm in the library, uh, I come back at midday for one hour or so to eat and pray 
and go back and it's just five minutes riding back my bike so this is very very practical and i think people are quite open to me also when i work or so like sometimes i come with the with the feeling that okay will they what kind of people thoughts will they have about me like maybe they they won't like to have someone with a headscarf or so but usually i People are very open, even asking questions, and I, I'm not, I don't have problems with it. Um, yes. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about life? <laughs> That's a very good question. I think um, life, it's not about being in peace all the time. I think I can say from my own experience that, you know, that I am often in a disbalance and so on, but coming back to the balance, coming back to to apologizing, coming back to the family and, and, and reconstructing the whole and restarting and, and going further then I think that's the most important thing and the most beautiful thing. Can you tell us a little bit more about your specific tariqa? <laughs> our community, I think it's a quite inclusive community. Our chef, our master, he's accepting anyone who wants to be a student, who wants to try, and um, who has the good intention. Uh, so it's very colorful, very international, and there is there are always surprises. <laughs> well, I suggest you just come with me to Germany once, because uh, now in, the win in these winter weeks we have a winter camp, and yeah, you can make yourself a picture. with like the community ties and um, yes and also to learn more about our religion. <laughs> Hello, we just arrived to our mosque. It's over there. It's the green building. It was like before we bought the mosque. Uh, it was like a hotel and I think there was also a small theater inside. But we've bought it in like the Imam from our mosque has bought it in 96 and since then it's been a place for meeting for all of us and we have summer camp, winter camp like now and welcome, have a look! <laughs> My name is Sashida. I make every year in the summer and winter time calligraphy with people from France, England, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands and uh, I'm very enjoy because um, every every time when I do this with the people they um, have a lot of fun with this. Um, my intention was um, that we have in two or three days a nice picture with Allah or Muhammad Salim or something like this, Bismillah or uh, Bismillah what we have or oh, this is um, Allah Allahu Akbar and um, calligraphy is a very old traditional Islamic art and uh, 
in time before they had a lot of master in calligraphy. You cannot learn it in two days. Therefore, we make a simple technique, and uh, the people like to have to take it home with them, and they have a nice picture for uh, for the prayer corner as they pray or. Um, in the floor or kitchen, and it gives blessing and saving. Hi, I'm here at the training place where they practice Jiu Jitsu, and um, most of the people here today are um, from Atarika, and um, I'm still going to speak to uh, some of the trainers to find out about their experiences Revolution and why they're doing this. So I'm excited. Revolutionary deeps Revolutionary truthful Revolutionary Hello guys, my name is Rios Awais. I'm a purple belt from Jackson Sousa, Czech Hat. Uh, I'm giving a seminar for three days here for, uh, for self-defense, for Jiu-Jitsu, because I think Jiu-Jitsu is uh, really one of the best uh, self-defense arts you can have or you have in the world. And I decided to combine this with the, with the Sufi community here because uh, Jiu Jitsu means the gentle art, so it's not like beating someone in the face or kicking with the legs, it's a gentle art to submit someone, you know, to give the guy a chance, okay, to repent something. So this is pretty, pretty much uh, everything. We did three days now, the three days are over, and uh, we had a really nice time, and I think. Guys, learn many things. Thank you.